Guys, listen, we've been on a journey, if you will, not to the state of California, but discussing the state of this fear of God, California. And if there is really a way to wear no show, I mean, real no show socks, like there's nothing showing on the back heel and your feet not overheat in these. I picked up some flat socks. We'll discuss them. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on how I intend to just wear this California. So for the Fear of God California in cement, again, the color on the box is not reminiscent of what the actual California will look like in person. All pairs will come with individual dust bags with Fear of God printed on the front. And as you can see, this is the Cement California. It looks absolutely nothing like the color on the box. And it's not really a gray. I'll be honest with you, it reminds me more of a cooler off-white colorway. Um, so it still has that gray vibe, that gray feel, but it's very light. It's not white, clearly, but it's also not going to be a darker gray. I'm guessing the concrete is probably closer to the darker gray. Here's a side-by-side -side of the Fear of God California Oat next to Cement. The Oat is a size 37. The Cement is a 36. As expected, you give up some length when you go down to the 36, and I would also say you give up a little bit of width as well. Flat socks, what the hell are these? Well, I discovered them while searching for mule socks on the internet, literally just Google mule socks and flat socks showed up. So as you can see, you have these individual inserts that you would actually replace the insoles of your shoes with, with the actual flat sock itself. So you can see all of the properties. It's anti-slip, it controls odor. You can actually wash and dry them if you would like the same as you would any other sock that you own. Based on everything I saw online, I said, hey, why not give the flat socks a try for the Fear of God California? Now, you have to cut these down to size, of course, if you're not at the largest size of which they go. So I cut these down to a women's seven, men's six. Now, if we're talking actual measurement, most sneaker companies or most companies in terms of shoes will show a size comparison or conversion of a women's seven and a half to a men's six. You would traditionally go down one and a half sizes, but in some sizes, I truly go one to one down. So seven and a half to a six and a half. But for here, women's seven, men's six. The flat socks are inserted within the Fear of God California. I'm thinking everything is great. Let's take them for a test run. Surely this is the answer to have a no-show look. It didn't work out that way. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take it. Everybody, to go TJ back another video on talks with TJ. We're back talking about this this California and this time I decided to wait test out this flat sock before actually doing a video like the first time when I had the mule socks. I went ahead, showed you guys those, unboxed them. I had to come back a short time later to let you know those didn't work. So, the flat socks, these came just across my radar. Uh, in a Google search for mule socks. So flat socks came up. They are advertised as the true solution to wanting a no-show look. So think Vans, think mules, just think a shoe where you don't want a sock to show. Like even sometimes the most low profile socks will still show through a low profile shoe and you may not want that. I despise like the socks that just come above your ankle. I mean, just like they hit your ankle bone. And people wear them with low profile shoes. Like I can't stand the look of it. Just, I, I couldn't do it. I could never do it. I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. I can't stand that. It needs to be no show or it needs to be a crew sock or maybe a sock that comes definitely far above the ankle. Otherwise it's just not my preference. So trying to find the solution to this fog, California. To be fair, stepping into the fear of God, California with the flat socks on, it is, it's a comfortable fit, but that's 
also kind of where it stops. Now let's talk about the actual sizing of the California itself. Okay, for sizing, the 36 is a just perfect fit. That's going down two sizes from a true 3080U. The 37, which is the oak colorway, gives you enough room. So I'm actually more partial to the 37, which is going down a single size. However, when I wore these with the flat socks, neither size worked. The flat socks will take away the space provided to make these comfortable. So they are a failure. Great idea. Might work in vans. Yeah, they're not gonna work for these California. So I gave them a go, I tried them. Uh, now, in terms of sizing, we already discussed that in the unboxing. I went down two sizes from what my true EU size would be in the, um, the cement colorway, which is this, and it's the perfect fit. That's also the problem if you're trying to wear flat socks, if you go two sizes down, it's the perfect fit, which means there's no additional extra space there for your feet. Like not that it's going to be cramped, but it's just the perfect fit. So putting in the flat socks, it's going to create too little space of where your foot actually sits within the California. And yeah, it's just, uh, it was uncomfortable. I wore them just to run actually to UPS and it, it was very, it just, it didn't work. Not enough space. Your foot actually starts to hang off of the back of here. I hate that feeling. It's like if you were to get Yeezy slides and you get them true to size. So the back of your heel hangs off. I'm not a fan of that. So that wasn't going to work with the 36. So then I tried them with the 37 to only, because that's only down one size. And that's a little bit roomier. I still like it tried them out in that it's still a no like i still didn't like the way it fit it takes away the comfortable space within the shoe because you're you're supposed to take out an insole and replace it with the flat sock so like i would try that with my vans there's i can't do that with a california there's no insole for me to take out so that didn't work and when i had the flat socks on with the actual californias just running out yes my feet got hot because I think they were still like in such direct contact with the foam, with the foam, you know, it, itself. So it's not gonna work. So that's another epic fail when it comes to a true no-show look for the California. So moving forward, I fully intend to just wear super no-show socks. That's right. It could be Gymshark, it can be Vans, it can be Invisa sock, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna proceed with wearing no-show socks. And yes, the heel will still have a sock present. Do not care. They're very comfortable when I wear them that way. I even walked around my place with the 37 on um, and the oat and like crew socks and my feet were fine. They were comfortable. They weren't hot. They weren't sweating. I can't say that about the mule socks or the flat socks. So I personally will just stick to super no show socks and that's that's how we'll move forward uh please comment your thoughts below on the flat socks if you intend to try them out just go ahead and give me your feedback i spent like 15 dollars for one yeah i won't be spending any more it's nothing against the flat sock itself it just doesn't work within this shoe so the actual california i think i'm just gonna again stick with the no shows i appreciate you guys tuning in sticking with me on this journey um i still intend to go back for the cream but then also concrete for the, the Californias. I told you, I want all the colors, all right? So uh, also just to wrap it up, in terms of fit, the if you for me, going two sizes down, it's like that just perfect fit, like just perfect fit for uh, the 37. So that would be one size down. It still gives you some room. So if I wanted to wear like some thicker wool socks, I can absolutely do that with 37. So hopefully that helps to gauge what size you would want to get, but I absolutely adore them, wear them a lot. And uh, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in as always act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.